Hey, whiskey lovers. There's a question that we get a lot. What's the difference between bourbon and Tennessee whiskey? There's no person better qualified to answer that question than Jeff Arnett, the master distiller of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. So Jeff, I hear this a lot from whiskey lovers. I have a thought about it. I'm sure you get this question all the time. Why don't we run through what makes bourbon bourbon? Okay. You tell me if that applies to Jack Daniels. Perfect. Okay, made in the USA? Yes, every drop in Lynchburg, Tennessee. 51% corn? Actually 80. Well, minimum so, yeah, 51%. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, distilled to no more than 160 proof? 140. Okay. Goes in the barrel <laughs> at no more than 125 proof? Yes, 125 into a new charred oak barrel. That was going to be my next question. Perfect. <laughs> and it's bottled at a minimum of 40% ABV? Correct. So, it's a bourbon? <laughs> well, yes and no. You know, I, I often tell people that Tennessee whiskey isn't anything less than bourbon because we've satisfied everything that's required uh, by the federal codes for bourbon. Uh, but historically, if you look at Tennessee whiskey and what they were doing that made them somewhat different than what was being made up, you know, north of the border up in Kentucky, it was this, what they call the Lincoln County process, or this additional step of, of 10 feet of hard sugar maple charcoal filtration, or at least that's what Jack Daniels chose to do. So in every regard, I think a Tennessee whiskey is a bourbon, um, but we like to say it's a sort of a bourbon plus or a bourbon plus one. Uh, so this, it's just this one additional step that we do. So no, no exceptions, just one addition uh, that defines what Tennessee whiskey is. And of course, that is actually captured in a state law uh, that was written a few years ago. Uh, it, it reinforces that Tennessee whiskey must be bourbon first, but it must also be mellowed made in the state of Tennessee. So for you, if you're tasting Jack Daniels next to, let's say, just a Kentucky bourbon, what, what does that charcoal mellowing add here in the glass? You know, a lot of times as I'm kind of breaking down the Jack Daniels process, I'll, before I even get to charcoal mellowing, I will start with our grain bill. Uh, Jack Daniels is 80% corn, 12% malted barley, and 8% rye. Uh, so, you know, we're all at least 51% corn, but where we really differ with Kentucky bourbon is in the rye content. You know, being 8% is really low. Uh, most Kentucky bourbons will be two to three times higher in rye than we will, and that will add a peppery, spicy note. So I'll often describe, or you'll hear Kentucky bourbons described as having that characteristics of being maybe slightly bold, peppery, spicy. Uh, when I talk about Jack Daniels, I don't use those terms as much as I do sweet and oaky. Uh, so it's this lower rye content that establishes that the barrel, uh, you know, we have a patented process on our barrel that's toasted and charred. So we really allow the barrel to be very prominent uh, in the flavors of Jack Daniels, maybe more so than a bourbon would. But Nice and balanced. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet vanilla and caramel on the tip of the tongue. Nice body through mid palate, and then a balancing amount of oak uh, in the finish. Yep. Yep. Tastes but, tastes like Tennessee whiskey. You know, we make several different whiskeys today, but in a word, from old number seven, what I always look for is balance. You know, I don't want it to favor the sweet part of the of the palate or the oak part. I want it to kind of feel like it's. Uh, uniform, mm -hmm. uh, very, very uniform across the palate. So sweets on the tip, oaks in the back, but really not dip in the center. And it has a really nice, what I would call moderate level of mouthfeel. Uh, our, our single barrel is a bit more full, a little bit more complex, but with this one, I think it's very balanced. And for that reason, also very versatile. Mm -hmm. Does the charcoal mellowing help with that mouthfeel? Well, absolutely. When we taste our new distillate right off the still, it has a bitterness associated with being high in corn. You know, also historical documents about bourbon will tell you that the reason they were placing it into a barrel was that the barrel could soften this bitterness uh, that comes from when you sour mash and, and you know, and ferment in that environment and distill it. Corn is a sweet grain but tends to mask its own sweetness with a lot of bitter elements. So the, the barrel is one way to soften that, but uh, we feel like at, at Jack Daniels that charcoal is even more effective and it can accomplish in days what barrels might take years to do. So it gives us a nice head start getting into the barrel, but it allows that high corn uh, grain bill that we have that really should be sweet uh, to really be sweet uh, even before it gets into the barrel. So it definitely, definitely moves the needle uh, into the sweet direction by taking the bitterness away from the spirit. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for yes. uh, telling us exactly <laughs> why this is a bourbon, but also a Tennessee whiskey. It is. It, it's, it's certainly nothing less than a bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I'll drink to that. Cheers. <laughs>